I'd now like to introduce our first speaker. He's someone I deeply admire for his storytelling capabilities um, and his ability to translate um, science to all of us, and that's John De La Pera, the Director of Food Initiative for the Rockefeller Foundation. So please give him a round of applause. Hi everyone, uh, welcome and good morning. I'm so happy to see you all here. I see so many faces who over the course of four years since I've been at the foundation have played such a pivotal role in the creation of this periodic table of food. But I also see many new faces who maybe have no idea what this initiative is. So I thought maybe I would just take us back just for one minute. About 150 years ago, uh, <laughs> the periodic table of elements was uh, unveiled. And, you know, what does that mean? What, well, the periodic table of elements essentially is a mapping of all the different elements organized by the qualities of those elements. We didn't have a periodic table of food, but now we do, we're, and we're building it. And what we're hoping for is that beyond just a mapping, a simple mapping of the qualities of our food, the chemical qualities of our food, that we will take that and expand to build on biodiversity, to build on the nutritional qualities of our food, and ultimately to uh, work on the climate crisis as well. And we have a number of projects that we're pursuing that we think will enable these data to make a big difference. In the periodic table of food, it's not just a, a data set and a, a database, but it's tools, data, and education. So the tools um, as you, in our audience today that we have representatives from our nine centers of excellence from all over the world that are working to develop um, the, the data sets around foods that are important to them. We also have 500 foods that we'll be unleashing to the world uh, tomorrow with our initial data set. Um, and then we also have educational program, Food EDU and Good Food Fellows, which are really working on the so what. So now we have this incredible complexity that we can understand from our food. Now how do we actually use that to make a difference in the world? And that's just a little, you know, we're taking it from just a simple mapping of qualities of food to the actual impact in the world. And I think that this symposium today, where we're looking at biodiversity, really from molecules to systems, this is going to light a fire that's going to, I think, we'll have so many more ideas with all of us in the room. So please, if you have more of those ideas about how food composition might play a role in solving some of the most pressing problems in the world, let's chat and I'd love to hear more. So now I want to introduce you to the person who really, I think, is the most responsible for bringing all of these ideas together and making them uh, happen in the world, and has done that with so many projects throughout his life, um, and that's the Senior Vice President at the Rockefeller Foundation for the Food Initiative, uh, Dr. Roy Steiner. Uh, thank you so much, John. It's, it is a real honor and pleasure to be here and see the incredible partners that uh, have made this a reality. You know, when I started thinking about this about five or six years ago, I, just asking the question, we focus so much of our food systems on quantity. How do we actually, what, what do we know about quality? And when I just kept asking those questions, I, I realized how little we know about our food. Um, you know, there is 30,000 edible plants. How, much of the, how many of them can we name? How many have we used? Uh, there's so much that is, still needs to be explored. Of those plants, we don't even know what's in, you know, most food composition tables only measure about 150 molecules, and yet an average human diet has at least 26,000, right? So the, the incredible diversity that's out there is, from, from a scientific point of view, from a cultural point of view, is extraordinary. These are places to go and, and ideas and, and to explore that all, we can all do that together. And that's, I think, what the periodic table of food is to really revolutionize our understanding of what food is and really help create the science that will uh, create the kind of system we need because biodiversity, diversity in general is critical to the future of humanity. We are all interconnected. We need the diversity to enable a healthy and, and thriving ecosystem, healthy and thriving cultures. And, and we need to learn how to make that all work. And the more we can use scientific uh, tools like the periodic table of food and the educational resources that have been developed, I think we'll get closer to the kind of world we want. So with that, I'll turn it back to uh, 
Danny, and, and really looking forward to today. Thank you so much for coming. It, it's so exciting to see Roy's vision come to life, and, and it's just, it, it's so incredible.